there certainly are plenty of rumors about, quote, gene doping going out there. I have no doubt that if you go on the black market, you will find somebody who will claim to be willing to help you gene dope. Uh, and I think it's much more likely to benefit their bank accounts than it is to benefit your athletic performance at this point. Uh, eventually things may catch up. I know that the World Anti-Doping Agency is trying to develop, trying to stay ahead of the curve here and trying to develop some imaginative ways of seeing when people are be have begun to tinker with genes. Uh, I, I can't give you a definitive account of that. I can tell you one story, though, about this effort to measure you and sort of figure out and channel you. There is a gene called the actinin-3 gene. Some of you may know about this. It's, just, it's correlated with being a sprinter versus uh, having sort of uh, immediate power, so it would be sprinting or power sports versus endurance sports. And there are companies that offer to test you for it. Um, I think it was the last I saw was about $129. You can get your actin and gene, actin and three profile. And uh, when you look at the evidence, there is some evidence that there's a small correlation. Uh, I think you'd be far better off buying a stopwatch. It costs less, <laughs> you can use it more than once, and that's going to give you a much more valid indicator of whether the child that you're interested in is fast or not. <laughs>